please welcome Kenan Thompson. Yeah. Loved ones, loved ones. Good morning, good afternoon, good day. Good <laughs> we just wanted you out here. We were ready for you to come out. I was waiting. I was watching all the all the segments backstage. Oh, well, you know, were watching you know, a... Dancing with the Stars. Look at the pull the Dancing with the Stars. Back I did up. Dancing oh. with the Stars with Val Schmerkowski. <laughs> yeah, I have that picture. That oh, was look a, at you. You I... killing. Yeah. When was that? That was 2000, 2010, maybe. 2000. 2010, yeah. Yeah, you've been on the grind, man. I, I got to give you your props, man. I'm so proud of you. Look at you. You oh, got your own God. show out here. <laughs> Sherry. Yeah, man. But you, um, yeah, and I, we were talking about Hugh Grant, and we were talking about Dance with the Stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, what's up with Hugh Grant? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> like, do you ever get, like, do you ever do a promotional <laughs> tour, and you get, like, just grumpy, Keenan? Yeah, but you're supposed to be professional, ain't you? Yeah. <laughs> You're supposed to act as if. Right? That's what I thought. I mean, yeah, everybody gets tired, but you know, this is a this is a business. This is a man? business and part like, of the show. You gotta get the word out on people, you know? Like I gotta come here and tell y'all I got a book. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking yeah, about. Yeah. I, I I'm so excited because I was at the Macy's Thanksgiving I know, Day Parade. I saw you, out there. you were out there on the Good Burger car. You yeah, and yeah, you yeah. and Kel yeah. Mitchell. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all rode the Good Burger car, and it was like, was it a wild day for you? It was. It was an amazing day, because, I mean, I, I guess you forget how many people are really in New York, mm -hmm. and, like, they're up in those buildings as well. So, yes. like, um, one of the stage manager people was like, right before you go out there, just remember to look, look up, up and wave at the people, because you could make a little kid's day. They don't think that anybody's going to see them up there. Right. It was the whole way, and we started on, like, 78th. In, yeah. in Central Park West and go all the way down to 34th Street. So it was like 50 blocks of people just waving and like all the bit of my arm was tired. And then all of a sudden, <laughs> and then all of a sudden Sherry was there in the middle of the people waving on the street. I mean, I wish I had a picture of that because no, that was funny. I wasn't even waving. I was screaming. I was so excited to be yeah. there. I was screaming at the top of my lungs. Man, that was such a treat. That was it was amazing. You gonna do it next year? I would love to. I mean, I guess I gotta get something that's <laughs> worthy of the parade, but yeah, that was fun. Yeah. You know, this is like, this is absolutely amazing to me. SNL just released a season 49 yeah. uh, cast photo. Yeah, look at the baby. Look at everybody. Yeah. So what was it like getting everybody together for this, Keenan? It's always fun. I mean, right there you have like, what is it, 16 brilliant comedy minds, yes. you know what I mean? So. Anytime we're all together, it's a bunch of jokes and laughs, and it's hard to get anything done. <laughs> because That's what I'm saying. It'd be hard. Like, how did everybody look at the, the camera at one time without laughing and making jokes? I mean, all the little setup time, I think it is. So when people are getting placed, you know, like, all right, let's get you to lay that way, or like Michael Che get in the middle, or this, that, and that. That's when we make our jokes. And then uh -huh. you know, Mary Ellen is a professional, our photographer. She's been doing it for forever. Um, she's just like, all right, let's get this done, and we know that she's gonna be super quick, so we tighten up. What time did y'all, did it, was it like during This one was after a show, so it was late. This was at like 1.30 in the morning. 1.30? Yeah, on a Saturday, but you know, this is what being professional looks like. <laughs> okay? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Y'all look like you was having a good time. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, same shoes. Can you see, pull that back up. Can you pull the picture back up? <laughs> pull, pull that picture back up, y'all. Ah, same shoes. <laughs> same shoes, though. <laughs> I oh. dressed myself. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I love it. I watch SNL. I've like been following you on Saturday Night Live for so long. Thank and you. this is uh, the 21st season at Saturday Night Live, SNL. These are pictures of your first episode. You are with, <laughs> is that Jack Black? That is Jack, Jack Black. Black yep. Your first episode and your most recent one. Yep. Is that Emma Stone? That, well, that is Emma Stone. Oh my goodness. Me. She's a she man, not to say she's a killer, but she is such a great performer. Like she commits to every single character she does. She doesn't have step at all. It was her fifth time hosting, and I watched, like, that time I really watched her in the table read because we read, like, 40 sketches, 45 yeah. sketches or something like that, and they only pick 10 to work uh -huh. on or whatever. 
But every single sketch, man, she's like a thoroughly dedicated performer, it. man. It's inspiring. Well, who are you talking about thoroughly dedicated? Yeah. So are you thoroughly dedicated? You've oh, been on, man, like, I, as yeah. long as, as long as SNL has been on the air, you've been on half that time. You're one of the longest running cast members on SNL, Kenny. Crazy. You're not thoroughly dedicated. <laughs> like, how does it, how does it feel to be a part of comedy history? I mean, it feels incredible. I mean, can you pull the Jack Black picture back? The Jack Black, his very gotta, first. I gotta pull that one back forehead. up. <laughs> pull that picture back up. There yeah, we go. So see that forehead kind of receding. <laughs> that's that's because I think I was doing a Bill Cosby thing later in the episode, so I had a ball cap on. So right. So I'm have a a ball cap on. It looks like my hairline starts. Oh right my here. gosh. <laughs> but is yeah. Like, I just remember all of these characters that you do, they are so memorable. Thank you, the characters. I mean, I work with a lot of brilliant people, you know? Like, we have brilliant writers, and I've been blessed to write with, you know, the likes of Brian Tucker and, and Colin Jost and, and Tina Fey's and Seth Meyers of the world and Michael Chase, you know what I'm saying? So, and all of them. Yeah, but man. This is the one that you wrote. You didn't You didn't have any help from all of them. This is all you, because you wrote this book. Congratulations Thank on your you. book, Thank When you. I Was Your Age. Yes. They got it up there on the screen. This is what I didn't know till I read. You said that SNL would have never happened had you not gone bankrupt. You went bankrupt? Probably not. Um, yeah, I had to file bankruptcy. I had a bad accountant or whatever that, you know, ran away, you know what I'm saying? And I guess all skin folk ain't kin folk. It's all good, though. <laughs> you know uh -huh. But, you know, had that not happened, I, I was kind of getting into the mindset of, like, maybe I should just settle down and be in Atlanta, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I don't know if SNL would have happened like that. And then I, you know, wouldn't have met my wife. I wouldn't have met you know, her and, like, have my babies in my life like that. You know, it might have just been a whole different story. So I wouldn't trade it, you know, for anything in the world, but it was a tough time. Last night, bankruptcy saved my life. You, know huh? you just, oh, my gosh. <laughs> you know another person on there, Tracy, <laughs> Tracy Morgan, who played my TV husband on 30 Rock. The best. He, Tracy Morgan yes. mentored you at SNL, yeah, even though he wasn't even in the cast. No, he, he was gone at that point, which is probably why I got to audition. Um, but um, he was just still around. Like, my first day, he was there. <laughs> like, he was still on the show, holding court and telling jokes and carrying on. And then he just big brothered me from, like, moment one, basically, and took us out to TGI Fridays. Wow. Yep. Yeah, we went to TGI Friday. That was, <laughs> that was nice. Did Tracy ever take you out? Like, he always asked me to go out, and I was like, I'm, I'm scared to go out with Tracy Morgan. <laughs> you, you definitely learned that lesson. I didn't know it in, in time, but... Uh, one of the, like after one of the shows, we all went out and yeah, we hit almost every, all the boroughs. Like every every really? borough wound up in in Brooklyn at like seven or eight in the morning or something. But like Tracy is like such a New York boy. Yes, he is. You know what I mean? Like I think everybody knows at what point he's gonna come around and visit or something like that. <laughs> we were in like the basement of a church. <laughs> <laughs> They were serving us breakfast, and it was just, <laughs> it was just us. And they opened up the basement of the church to just, like, because they knew Tracy. Tracy was coming, and he likes to hang out. And that is, eat. that is Tracy Morgan. Yeah, man. That was oh, amazing. my gosh. God bless him, man. I, I love Tracy. We both love Tracy, just working with him all the time. He's, a, he's one of the funniest individuals in the world. Absolutely, Tracy yeah. is. Yeah, he's, I, I remember Tracy was at the Oscars with Tina Fey, and <laughs> she said, I'm Tina Fey, and he said, hi, I'm Tracy Morgan, I'm a homeowner. <laughs> like, it was... <laughs> It was crazy. That's classic, yeah. You know, I, 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 one thing I love about you is you being a father. You got two daughters, little Georgia sweeties. and Gianna. Look at that little sweeties. Georgia yeah. and Gianna. Okay, now my son Jeffrey, he's not impressed by anything I do. Uh -huh. What do your daughters think about your comedy? It's about the same. Uh, yeah, it's about the same. Yeah, yeah. I mean, they, they like it and everything, but their world is, is their world, you know? Yeah. And so when they discover things, they're like, oh, daddy, I saw your thing or whatever. But they think they're funnier than I am. They, they're, they're definitely cuter, cuter than I am. So, uh -huh. you know, I let them just do their thing. But yeah, they're very sweet and they're like, you know, my everyday focus. Is that what keeps you real? Just going home and being with your daughters? Well, yeah, that and like, I was always real. I was real before I came into the game. You know, I started when I was like 15. I was doing theater before that. But like, yeah. by that time, you are who you are. And luckily, I was, you know, raised by very real individuals between Atlanta and Virginia. So, yeah. I'm so glad you came. You said you're gonna come. I did. I'm here. Y'all watching all new season of 
SNL tomorrow night with Adam Driver and Olivia Ooh. Rodrigo. Yes. And Keenan's book, When I Was Your Age, is out now. And everybody in the audience, you're getting a copy. We're gonna have a good time.